Hi guys, it's Calvin from Raw Coding, and in this video I'll tell you what steps you need to take in order to learn coding easily. Learn programming, they say. You are promised a great salary, a stable job, respect, accolades, but you will need to learn how to program first. You search on Google, how can I teach myself coding, and you are immediately faced with articles that explain things in a very complicated way. If you haven't lost all motivation at this point, you manage to download a coding software but are faced with error after error, which sucks the willpower to learn out of you. If this sounds like an experience you have been through, then let me tell you there is still hope and things don't have to be so difficult. These are the steps I followed in order to learn coding. The first step you need to take is to download a programming software. A good free software is Visual Studio. It supports many different programming languages and allows you to run your program and see the output of your program instantly. Once you have downloaded the software that will allow you to write programs, it's time to choose the language you want to learn. You've probably heard of popular languages like C or Java and that knowing these will get you a really good job. This is true, but I wouldn't recommend starting with these as your first language. These languages are full of underlying rules and tricks, which make simple concepts seem really complicated. I recommend starting with a programming language like Python, which strips down all the complicated stuff. Just look up writing a for loop in C and then writing a for loop in Python. You will see what I mean. Both C and Python do the same thing, but Python is a lot easier to understand. Python will help you learn the concepts of programming instead of getting stuck on every hurdle. The good thing is that most programming concepts are universal. This means that an if statement in Python will basically do the same thing as an if statement in C. If you are looking at getting into the forefront of data sciences, then Python is a fantastic language to learn. Once you have chosen your programming language, you will want to write your very first program. I don't mean something complicated like predicting the next Icelandic volcanic eruption, but rather something that will just simply output a couple of words, like hello world. After this, you can start learning about the various data types and basic functions. Data types are containers that store information, such as the name of an animal. Basic functions are if statements and for loops. These can be used to make specific decisions on what's going on in your program. You need to find someone that explains these concepts to you in an easy to understand way. There are some great YouTubers out there that specialize in coding. Type in the language you want to learn and you will find loads of tutorials on the subject. I also have an easy to understand Python playlist on YouTube that will guide you through the concepts. If you are after more structured learning, Code Academy offers full courses on coding run by highly skilled programmers. They will teach you the basics all the way to the more complex stuff and you can do coding exercises on their website. You pay a monthly subscription with them, which allows you to do any course on their website. You earn badges for every course you complete, and this is fantastic if you want to showcase your skills when applying for a new job. If you want to learn more about Code Academy, just click the link in my description below. What a lot of new programmers do is learn all the concepts without putting their knowledge into practice. A big part of programming is not only knowing what each concept does, but knowing how to write it and when to write it in your program. It's like learning how to swim. You know that moving your arms and kicking your legs will keep you afloat, but if you don't practice, you will never be able to swim properly. Think of video tutorials as armbands that keep you afloat. You can learn with them until you are confident enough to write the code on your own. Write small programs with the new concepts that you have learnt. For instance, once you have understood what an if statement does, you can write a little program that will output a certain number depending on what the user types in. You will improve really quickly if you do this and will soon become confident with the basics of programming. Those who follow me on Instagram have asked how much time you should put aside into studying. You obviously know that the more time you spend practicing, the better you will get. But to stay motivated, I will try and dedicate just one hour a day to your learning. Consistently doing one hour a day is better than doing seven hours per week in a single day. Doing programming tasks every day will allow your brain to work on resolving problems even when you aren't thinking about coding. If you don't understand something one day and go back to it the next, you are more likely to come up with a solution when you look at the problem for the second time. So to recap, download a free programming software from Google. Choose the programming language you want to learn and search for tutorials on YouTube for that programming language. I recommend starting with Python if you haven't programmed before. You will quickly find someone that explains things really well. If you are looking for a structured course, 
Join Code Academy by following the link in the video description below. Put the code you have learnt from your tutorials into practice straight away by writing little programs based on what you have just learnt. This will help you learn things fast. If you get more confident, get creative and use the concepts you have learnt to make more ambitious programs. Don't set your challenges too high as it's easy to get caught up in a program and then lose motivation. Try and dedicate just one hour a day to learning how to code. Your brain learns more effectively with consistency. If you follow the steps, you won't believe how quickly you will get good at coding. You never know, you could soon have a job as a software engineer. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.